Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Delka Tanya. Before I get this video kick started off, I want to say Happy New Year. Even though we're in the 30 day trial period of 2021, because you know, a lot of crazy stuff done happened already in January. <laughs> you guys, if you've been watching the news, y'all see it. Y'all know what's been going on. If you know, I live in the state of Georgia, so you already know what I was dealing with, getting harassed every single day. Like, for these runoffs so i'm just glad we're over that hump we're gonna go in and inaugurate a new president who was already like already about like he already be like uh yeah we're not about this shit. this is what we trying to do we about to help americans like feel like we actually getting help for the first time in the last four years um so yeah so that all that craziness has been going on you guys been seeing it you guys hear it you know you've seen the need black twitter black facebook black instagram all we've been doing is just sitting here like Girl, you saw that in the news, girl. <laughs> okay. That's what we've been doing in the black community off all this crazy shit that's been popping off, right? We haven't done a life update in a very long time, so um, I'm just here to just do exactly that. I'm going to keep this video, or I attempt to keep this video very short and sweet, okay? So we're going to be tackling some areas, all right? So first and foremost, I'm going to let y'all know this right now. Me and my family have been going through it, but by the grace of God, we have pass through it you know um from losing the jobs to gaining jobs to losing a job and gaining jobs it's just been a whirlwind okay when i tell you when i tell you this shit has got me stressed it has got me stressed but we're finally over that hill that steep hill that we've been climbing steep and now we're finally about to just go whoosh, and that's what I'm ready for so um, you know when it comes to work um like honestly speaking and just truthfully speaking I lost my job in August and no it was not COVID related it was related to something else I was working from home with a two-year-old for three months at the time to try to still keep her to be able to go to school to try to get her ready to go back to school because she needs to be potty trained so honestly it was a very stressful that was the most stressful three months of my life like i felt like juggling trying to be a mom trying to be an employee and I, and me at home by myself doing all of this because her dad was out at work like 10 12 hours of the day by the time he comes home he's really tired i'm still trying to work it was just a lot but honestly i felt like god did not i feel like and someone said this i did not get fired i got promoted to out of a situation that i was no longer even happy with you know um this job or my function i really felt like i started losing the love for what i did because of the people that were in leadership you know kind of like it kind of gave me like oh my god you know but i'm just so thankful because honestly the day that they let me go i did cry i cried and boohooed and i cried for two reasons because one it was because it was starting to me me personally as a person it was just starting to become too much for me and there were days that i felt like i was just suffocating and i couldn't breathe and because of whatever was going on and then also too i cried because i felt like a weight was lifted off of my shoulder and i felt like at that point like i really could breathe like my mental health was on a serious decline like i would be in like i would be so depressed i would have anxiety the littlest thing would just trigger me it was to the point where i was yelling at my kid for being a two-year-old I, and it broke my heart when my kid is just like, I'm sorry, mommy. I'm okay. You know, mommy, uh, mommy, are you okay? Mommy, are you crying? It, it, that type of stuff, that shit like weighs on you when you have to sit here and try to explain to your two year old that mommy's okay, that, and they're wiping your tears. Like, like it was a lot. Although I love the company, I love the, you know, the, my coworkers that I was working with. It's just like, at that point, I knew that that, it was no longer for me and I was trying my best to get out of the situation but unfortunately they did it for me and you know and and, and let me go um, I'm not mad at it I'm um, actually you know I felt like I was able like I said I was able to breathe again and yes I when it comes to not having money that was the biggest thing because you know I was making some really great money my you know and losing that income was really detrimental to me and my family especially when I wasn't working 
my boyfriend wasn't working, you know, that point where we both weren't working, during that time frame after, it was like, it was intense, guys. It was so intense. But by the grace of God, we made it through it, even though it took like unemployment, oh, uh, what? I filed for my unemployment in September. I did not get my unemployment until the week, a couple days before Christmas. A couple days before Christmas. Unemployment is so backed up. Like, you can't get in touch with anybody. By the time you do get in touch with somebody, they don't answer their phone, they don't answer their email, nothing, it's like nothing goes on. So by the grace of God, we were able to make it and just kinda, you know, find our way through this whole entire situation. So it, it was, like I said, it was really intense. I mean, it also, that whole entire situation also tested my relationship. Um, it really tested our relationship and tested the people that we were. And I had to tell my boyfriend that I was so glad and so thankful that he was here because having to deal with this type of stuff with my job, losing my job, and you know, trying to figure out how am I gonna pay this, how am I gonna pay that, my car is this, and this, all this different type of stuff was a lot. But he was there just to be that support for me. Um, it, he was just really there just to be a support and but it still, you know, it wasn't perfect. We still tested a lot of things in our relationship about who we are, how we communicate, and you know, we made it a we made it a point where it was like, hey, we see that we have a lot of mis missteps in our relationship, and what we want to do is try to refocus ourselves and refocus on rebuilding our foundation because a lot transpired before he moved down to Georgia when it came to my pregnancy that we never really truly addressed. We just kind of like, oh, you're here now, let's go ahead and move forward. But in order for us to move forward, we had to actually take a step back and discuss a lot of things and heal from a lot of things that happened in the past to be able to lay a proper foundation. And now coming into 2021, we're like stronger than ever. Like I'm still on the hunt for work. I'm still putting my resume out there on, you know, like honestly, from August to like December, I was not trying to go back to corporate America. I was trying to do that. If you don't make it out of COVID without no entrepreneur, if you ain't got no business or whatnot, um, you, what you you wasting time thing. I was trying to live up to that pressure, and I just realized I'm like, I'm not gonna force myself to force myself into a business to just to make a point for anybody. What I'm gonna do is take this time and be okay in my stillness because I've been working since I was 16. I've been working since I was 16. And even when the time when I didn't have a job, it was like maybe a month or so, two months or so, but I was in school at the time as well too, so I really didn't really need a job. It was because of my own choice. So this is the first time I've actually had, I didn't have a choice to not have a job. And using that time to reconnect back to me to Delka and to try to navigate through my own feelings and spend that time with me and be okay in the stillness and be okay with not always having to rip run do this do this oh I always have to stay on top of things like that and um it was Dr. Alexis Rhodes right so she's um one of a, a, a mental health there um professional that I met on Clubhouse Clubhouse if you ain't on Clubhouse well, I have a separate video for Clubhouse, but I met her on there and she had a, cla uh, a a room about imposter syndrome. And I was talking to her, talking to the group about this particular thing is knowing how to be in my, being in my sin my stillness and basket in that sick stillness, right? And that came up and it was just like, Delka, it's okay to not, to not have everything planned out for the day. It's okay not to do this. It's okay to be this and you don't have to be this where everybody expects you to be I'm learn I'm still learning that I still have a lot of areas to grow in that but I've always been so oh I have this this person or persona that I like to push out they're not saying that I'm a I'm being fake it's just that I've always been held to this perfect like having to be perfect and in that I've I've chipped away a little bit of who I really am and who I like like to be the person that I am and I'm trying to break that habit um, now more so than ever so I've been just going through that self-discovery type of phase so now that I feel like I'm kind of like 
now seeing who I am and who I want to be and who I want the world to know who I am, the silly side, the goofy side, the, you know, the all parts, all different areas of me, the person who's in a relationship, the person who's a mother, all of that type of stuff, I'm now feeling comfortable to go ahead and start putting my resume back out there to go ahead and try to find work. So that's I'm in that phase. I try to go ahead and apply for at least five to six jobs all the time, every single week. Yeah? We gonna have date night again, like we used to? Sure. <laughs> Anyways, like I was saying, 2020 has been rough, and, um, but we're here and we're surviving. So my, you know, moving forward and what I'm, like I said in the beginning of the video, um, I am really looking to manifest the things that I want in life and making sure that I'm no longer living on the sideline. So my trip to Houston is coming up. Also, I'm already looking for a trip possibly to Florida. Um, every quarter I want to take a trip. So trip to Florida. I don't know where we'll probably go in quarter three, but I definitely probably want to think about Denver. And then of course for quarter four, December, I want to be overseas somewhere on somebody's beach ringing in Christmas, ringing in my birthday, ringing in the new year. I'm no longer going to subject myself to mediocrity anymore moving forward. Like, live life. I'm tired of watching my like people on online and have these amazing trips and all this stuff and I'm sitting here like, Delka, what are you doing with your life? You know, Darren is on board. He was just like, yo, once you get a job, I got a good job now. We gonna make this shit happen, and that's what we're planning on doing. So yeah, that that's pretty much it. Um, nothing much, really and truly. Yeah, it's been a great, great. Oh, in spite of everything that's been going on, 2020 has been great to me and my family. Um, you know, and all I'm I'm doing is 2021 is just to kind of build more. You know, I'm looking into doing a few things, business adventures. Um, so yeah, so uh, I want to thank you guys for watching today's video. If you um, are new to my channel, please definitely hit the like button, comment, and subscribe so you know every time that I post a new video that you'll be notified. To all my A1 since day ones or day ones or whatnot, however you want to call it, I want to thank you so much for just putting up with my shit with not posting videos consistently. It actually, YouTube was my outlet and that was like something that I wanted, like I did just to kind of get away and I really didn't, I really do miss it. So you guys will see my face a little bit more often. Hopefully I can start being more consistent and getting some things done and just, you know, go from there and kill 2021. Like 2021 is go hard 2020. Thank you guys again for watching my video. Please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. If you like to follow me on all social media outlets, I will put them down below in the description box and I will catch you guys on the next freaking video.